Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab, and today we've got a very small post bag, but with lots of items. So let's get started with the smallest one. That is this one. The description says sensor module, weight uh, 0.09 kilograms, and 75 cents. So let's open. It feels really light. So. Let's open it. Oh, new, new, uh, new blade, and that cuts like a butter knife. Okay, even smaller. Oh, yeah, that cuts really well. Oh, yeah, this is nice. So these are uh, PIR, uh, PIR sensors. And they're quite small actually. Come on, get out of your bag. They're quite small actually. And can I take this? Yes, I can. There's a fingerprint on the detector. So let me clean that uh, sensor real quick. Because <sighs> that is not supposed to be there, I think. Microfiber towel, so that's better. All right, so now you are probably wondering why I've ordered these, uh, these small ones, and that is because of this. They fit perfectly. Let me take this apart real quick to demonstrate it to you. Not to try to demonstrate it to you, because I think I do the on off switch in this one, but I'm not sure. So let's uh, open it. I did not. So the reason why I bought these uh, small PIRs is because they fit inside the sunoff. Now I think I probably, oh, now the whole thing just went off. I think I'll probably use them or mine them like this. Wait, I could have sticked it in front of the bottom. Stupid me. Try it again. Now, I'm probably going to use them like this. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is good. Look, they fit perfectly. And you could also do it like this, but then they, oh, no. They, oh, they are able to go inside it. Oh, a little bit. It won't go any further, but I think this, is far enough actually. Oh, this looks clean. This looks really clean. So, uh, small PIR sensors and the uh, ESP um, on the Sonoff has one GPIO pin available, uh, and one free GPIO pin available. So that is where, um, yeah, where the, the input will go. Now uh, there is a, a thing because. Oh, let's check. I'm wondering if this will even fit, actually, because of the button. Uh, oh, that yo, yeah, that will be interesting, because I don't know if you are able to see it, but in there, you know, the um, headers of the PIR are touching the uh, button. So I probably need to desolder these headers and make them straight ones. Um, but yeah, it, it's yeah, needless to say, but when you are using this, uh, the button on the device is not usable anymore. Except for when you um, uh, put it somewhere else. So uh, let's remove it and let's put this one back together. For the sake of needless. Oh, 
on it. Cool. So, well, I've ordered three uh, so that I can experiment with them. One for a breadboard, one, uh, two for the solves. Because I've got uh, two S20s. This one is not uh, visible to the outside, so it can't detect um, fluorescence. Uh, because that's what you want when you're placing PRs inside Sonoffs. Well, yeah, yeah, there's no other way. Uh, it can't detect fluorescence. Uh, but what you could do with this is um, if you were using it as a fluorescence detector, which of course is the the whole reason. Come on, camera, focus. Can I get some focus, please? Hello. I'm not sure if this camera has a manual. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a light. Uh, well, if you're using this, uh, you're probably using it for presence detection. What you could do is um, uh, program the sun off in such a way that it will turn on when the presence is detected. Uh, but I won't do that. I will just use this as a Present detector. Yeah, that's basically it. No, uh, nothing less, nothing more. So, on to the next one. Development board, weight 0, 0,27 kilograms, and it's one dollar and nineteen cents, according to the packaging. Now, this knife is really sharp. Again, it's a, a new blade, so. I didn't know that these uh, knives were that sharp. So, the, oh, finally, finally, I ordered them way too long ago for them to arrive um, uh, this week. ESP8266, three of them. I um, am uh, getting better and better in blowing up ESPs and maybe um, using uh, all of the right cycles because some don't program anymore and I'm not sure uh, why that is um, so I ordered uh, ESP8266 three of them so I've got a small stock of them because uh, yeah I do uh, love them a bit maybe more than I'd like to admit, I think. Uh, yeah, they are perfect for home automation. They're just perfect. I'm using two uh, ESP8266 um, boards now for monitoring. Uh, monitoring uh, ambient temperature, humidity, uh, and also a light sensor uh, that will uh, go outside once I've got my 3D printer fixed. Uh, which will probably happen very soon and uh, so that will give the input to, to home assistant whether it's dark uh, or uh, light outside and noon and dusk so that I can uh, create events based on the time slash state I think of the day so uh, yeah they're really quite handy to have around so, on to the next package, this is the heaviest package. It says aluminum heatsink or aluminium heatsink, weight 0.08 kilograms, strip weight heat shrink weight connect core, never cut the T, connect core weight. So, this is the heaviest one. Uh, so, let's uh, open this. Because this, uh, this is interesting, this is really interesting. Now these are not uh, Black Friday orders or something. Uh, I, I did one Black Friday order and that's coming up really soon. Now these are um, the wrong ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, they placed a sticker on top of the brand name so these are DC jacks but then with a detachable or attachable cable so that you can plug this in and attach wires to them 
so that you don't have to solder uh, the wires. And uh, these things are uh, especially handy for LED strips. There was a discount on a 5 meter, I think, 5 meter LED strip. And I couldn't refuse it. It was uh, a, a big discount. I think I paid, what could it be? About a euro for this. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's crazy, right? You for a lesser, and I'm not in need of a lesser, but it's always nice to have one uh, because when you are in need of a lesser, you've got them laying around. So, heat sinks. These are the heat sinks. Now, um, I will be right back for the heat sinks. Heat sinks. Why, where could the heat sinks be for? For this one, Raspberry Pi. I've dodged the heatsink on this one because I was uh, uh, feeling that it needed a heatsink. Let me get some paper, remove the thermal paste. Now I must say that I did a good job at uh, eyeballing the location of the CPU with the bigger heatsink because it wasn't really... I was curious if I would blow up the Raspberry Pi. But fortunately I didn't and it was running really cool so that's good so now I've got another heatsink available so heatsink for the Raspberry Pi 3B plus now there are three heatsinks in here uh, with 3M stickering on them um, uh, there are a few I think they are supposed to go like this And then on the bottom, I guess, that's a, this is certainly for the, uh, these are the same, yeah, these are the same. So this is not for that, that's it. yeah, so these are, uh, zoom in, ignore the wire sticking and hanging out of them for the LED strips so let's try to remove the sticker without removing the pad that's beneath it there you go so CPU I'm guessing just under now the next one come on now let me grab grab a tweezer oh that isn't working as expected Cool. Let's place them in the same direction. Cool. Now the last one. I don't see any other place where it could go. So there, yeah. That's a uh, bit of a, uh, a pity. But let's do it on this one because this one is able to get reasonably hot. So now I'm not sure how this will. Uh, well, it, it will like that, I guess, a bit wobbly, but that doesn't really matter for me at least. Yeah, nice little uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is uh, the heatsink experiment. Uh, this heatsink was reasonably well, actually, it uh, held down the temperatures uh, quite low, so that's good. Those were the heatsinks. Final thing, heat shrinks. I uh, was in need of um, 
a few more colors actually. I've only got uh, black ones and I um, felt like I was needed to um, display the colors of the uh, actual wiring to match them. So black goes with the black heat sink and red with the red obviously uh, to make it more visible that it was that wire. You know, just um, a visual thing. No real function. Well, apart from the heatsink part, then. Uh, so yeah, also uh, very nice. Uh, yeah, heatsinks. Not sure what I uh, what I got to tell them. What I need to tell about them. So yeah. Thanks for watching this uh, short uh, uh, mailbag postbag video. I uh, hope you liked it. And. Uh, Please keep an eye on my channel for any future postback videos. So, yeah, if you want more of these postback videos, uh, feel free to uh, help me out. Um, I'll put my Patreon page at the end of the video, so you can become a um, supporter of my channel, so I can do more and more of these postback um, videos. So. Have a great day and I see you around soon. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.